think I have some bad news about mobs. Mobs are approaching golems and attacking them. Not only that, mobs, uh, zombies in particular, are um, going after domestic livestock, passive mobs. Sound in the background you hear is Fatty. She's in a lot of pain, and I don't know what's wrong. Um, very weak. She's been sleeping under the bed. Um, she's in a lot of pain. And somewhere in her body, it doesn't have anything to do with the eye thing. I today I well I finally proved it to somebody that. A zombie just walked up and started hitting a pig. I think it's in preparation for the 1.9 combat thing. Um, I don't know if I can scan how much pain that is in. And of course, it's the weekend, and there are no veterinary services available for at least three days. Watch, watch the spiders. See the spiders do it too. Watch, watch. Look, look, see? Zombies do it all the time, and zombies will attack domestic animals too. Look, look at them. Now with the golems around, they probably won't attack the domestic animals, and maybe they only attack domestic animals if they're inside of a structure, and so therefore um, it's more obvious that they might be owned by a player. Yeah, but I saw a zombie <sighs> whack a big today twice. They've been attacking horses, donkeys, mules. There's another problem. Skeletons. Um, skeletons will um, shoot at uh, golems. And if they agitate a creeper, the creeper will blow stuff up. It's not that the creeper will try to attack them. Uh, and I tried to tell this person, what should I see? Look, I tried to tell this person that that was true. I thought maybe it's because the person had plugins on their server or something, but it wasn't that. Um. Look at that. First strike, man. Now that one walked away. Now look. Now if there's a creeper in between, stuff's gonna blow. So the person wasn't convinced until the person actually saw it themselves. Well, the person saw something else today. What am I going to call this person? Bob. Okay, Bob invited me to his server and I've been playing for some time. I haven't recorded there yet and I wasn't sure why. Um, I wanted to several times. I thought about it. It's really cool that the server has legacy terrain from 1.0. So I was doing some, I call them science experiments, you know, the old, old, old spawn. So I uh, tried to explain to this person that um, there's another player on the server that Bob plays oh. a minigame with a lot. And um, they record together and so on. And on several occasions, Bob has said, uh, I want you to come on my server and play this mini game with me, and that's gone on for some time, and I've never been invited, and um, in the meantime, look at that. They keep making um, videos on the server, and they, oh, one day I want you to play, and it never happened. Um, and I've been real patient about it, there's some other stuff too, that Oh, we're going to do this, and we're going to do that, and you see it, and 
it doesn't happen, then you know, I'm alone and vision impaired. And there's stuff that when people volunteer to help, I would really like that to be true. And uh, so this other person that Bob is playing with, let's say Michelle. Um, Michelle logs onto the server, and if Bob is there, Michelle will speak. Not to me, to Bob. <laughs> I'm alone on the server. Uh, Michelle does not speak to me. I finally worked up the nerve to say something to Bob about it today. Pretty much what I just said right now is, but I prefaced it with, "I don't want you to get defensive, and I don't want you to feel like you have to be in the middle of this." But I'm just reporting the fact, and the fact is that when I'm on server alone, Michelle doesn't talk to me. And um, when you're on the server, she talks. Oh, Michelle's a very private person, and so on and so forth. Well, you know, Michelle used to talk to me. Maybe, I don't remember, maybe. Maybe Bob was on. I don't know. And then I started following Michelle on Twitter, and Michelle mentioned something about, you know, the inner workings of YouTube. And, uh, I commented about, you know, the YouTube algorithms and how they're pushing small channels down, and... I wasn't sure if her answer was snarky or not, or, or reply to me. Oh, well, I'm going to continue to make videos anyway. Look at that. Look at that. Go well, right for him. So I let it go. I let it go. You know, to heck with it. Bob has very little time, and we can't hang out much together, and so I'm pretty nervous about spending time with Bob because there are, I have certain priorities and stuff I would like to do, like um, Bob installed Voxel Sniper on his server so that I can begin using it. It doesn't work properly, but so that I can begin learning to use it and make schematics and stuff that I build and put them on uh, Native American map I'm building, Turtle Island, and it's not working right, and the perms aren't working right. And, I mean, we worked on it a little today, but could not get it working, and I said, finally, to heck with it, I'll look it up and see if I can figure it out, but, you know, I don't know anything about, like, packet and bucket and plugins, and, you know, Bob does. Mm. Bob knows how to do that kind of stuff. Been doing them since day one. Um... And then we just kind of like derped around. Bob's got a big project, and I started helping him with his project, and we were way out in the nether, very, very far from my little house, and, you know, I get lost and stuff, and um, the portal we went through was at Bob's house, which is pretty far from mine, and I loaned Bob a mule from my house so that he could ride with me out mm. to his place, so there's two mules in Bob's cow pen and I made it back to the mules and um, by then I was too tired to even try to go back to my place and I didn't have much food and I lost all my stuff in the nether and uh, Blaze shot me and I ended up on the ground near lava and when I died I saw my stuff around but Bob couldn't find it and I couldn't get down there when I got back to this. I didn't have any armor or nothing, you know. So Bob went down and looked. He couldn't find it. And we're working along and building this thing and trying to make a tunnel from the original spawn all the way back to Bob's new house. And all of a sudden, here she came. Michelle. <laughs> And in all caps, just scream, BOB! Nothing about me. And then scream something else now, all caps, I don't know what. And I was talking to Bob, and I could tell Bob was distracted. Well, it seems they were, I guess they were private messaging, or talking on Skype. Anyway, some way that I wasn't included. Which is fine. People are allowed to say things privately to each other. But basically what she was saying was, Come on, Bob, play this minigame with me. 
drop what you're doing and just come play this mini game with me. Well, I didn't know anything about this, of course. And all of a sudden, Bob said, Well, I gotta go. Duty calls. Michelle wants to play the mini game. Bye. Logged out of the game, turned off the Skype call. I don't get to play very often with Bob. There's a lot of stuff that I was hoping that he could. He he volunteered to do some stuff. All right, like I said, installing Voxel Sniper and help me out with some websitey kind of stuff and some other things. And we're gonna play this mini game together. And in the meantime, Fatty's really. Sick. Uh... What I've done is I've taken the cotton swab part off of the stick of a cotton swab plastic stick, hollow, like a little tube. Mixed a tiny bit of aspirin with water. Cats don't digest aspirin well, so they, um, it can build up in their system, they can get an overdose. But I very carefully sucked a little bit of that aspirin water into a, um, into that little pipette. Gingerly put it in the side of her mouth because she's in pain. She's in pain. Oh. My really good friend. Oh. Is in pain and can't tell me what's wrong and it's been going on for days and it's bad. It's bad. There was a big cat fight under the house and I was hoping maybe it was an abscess, but there's no little lump like infection under the skin or something. She's always had a tender back, and whatever's hurting her is near her spine, near her hips. But it's located on one side, and there's no vet until Monday, and Monday's a holiday, isn't it? And then, like, Memorial Weekend or something. And I kept telling Bob that I was worried about Fatty, and Bob would get quiet, but... Bob doesn't like cats. He was forced to grow up with. Well, I don't know. He doesn't like them, but I can imagine he resents them. He was forced to grow up with a whole bunch of them. I know people that have too many cats. They can neglect their kids. But this isn't. It's been a whole series of little bitty things. Some kind of Asian proverb or something. Death by a thousand tiny cuts. I mean, when we play together, we play a really long time. We laugh, we joke, we have a good time. And... But the disappointment, like, the last time he was on with me, oh, we worked on we worked on my map. We worked on um, Turtle Island. Last time he was on with me, we were doing a really intense project, work that really had to be done. And right before he hung up, he said, I'll see you tomorrow. That's not the first time, you know, I'll see you in a little bit. And then disappear for days and that kind of thing. Don't say you're going to do stuff you're not going to do, you know. Got to tell you something about this Michelle. She's got a husband and family and friends. And I'm sitting here alone, scared, insecure, you know, and... Um, I really look forward to getting a chance to play with Bob because it's the only real let your hair down goofing around time I've got. But, and Bob's been thoughtful and Bob's been sweet and Bob's been kind and that's a real hook, you know, like, ah, oh, forgive him for not doing this or not doing that because he did this other thing or whatever. But, I'm a person who's been betrayed a lot, and people made false promises a lot, and they really put me in jeopardy because I counted on them. And this, this woman that won't speak to me, but will scream at Bob right in front of me, and just call him away, I would never dream, ever, ever of uh, interfering with somebody else's plans. I mean, like, I know they record together and stuff. And I would never in a million years just barge in and interrupt. Oh. 
And how dare you think that was okay? Either one of you. So I won't get into a territory fight with a married woman over a guy who's young enough to be my kid. Uh, I don't know what it says that she really wants exclusive um, whatever it is, you know. I'm not even sure that's what it is. Maybe she's just ham-handed and got bad manners. I have no clue. I have no clue. Because she won't talk to me, so, you know. So here's the bottom line. I took Bob's server off my multiplayer menu. And I block, blocked Bob from Skype. Her too. And, um, unsubscribed his channel and blocked him there and blocked him on Twitter and blocked him on anything else I can think of because I'm sick, I'm old, alone, I don't have much time, I can't screw around with a bunch of games and maybe making promises makes you feel better but when you don't do what you say you're going to do it sure doesn't do a darn thing for me except make me feel like I don't know have you been nice to me out of pity is that what it was that I was never really an equal that I was some pathetic old lady I felt sorry for and what's wrong with her? I know she hangs around a crew of people that, um, well, they weren't exactly nice to me either, and maybe she's heard the gossip, and I must be, you know, a terrible person because I said, why y'all exclude me from your plans? And I get excluded a lot. I do. I get excluded a lot. I'm not making it up. I also get told a lot why I don't belong and, you know, I get chastised for thinking I have a right to. Kid, I really would have liked to have been your friend, you know, but friendship takes time and it takes trust. It takes respect. Now, you were too fast to say, well, I consider you a friend. When I thought about my friends, most of them are dead. Or so far away and, you know, busy or sick. Or taking care of someone sick. And when I thought about real friends. And how it takes time to get there. And the way you do that is by learning about each other and telling each other stories. Oh, I don't have any stories. That's what Bob said. I damn near 40 years old. You'd think something would happen to him by now. Maybe it was just pity. Have I gotten to that part of my life now where I can't count on anybody's company unless they're just sitting around in the old folks' home entertaining the old farts? Is that what it is? Yeah, I know. I'm cleaning grass. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm in grief, you know, because I like Bob. Thought I did. But I can't keep doing this. I can't keep feeling like this. Like, when she comes on, I'm so uneasy and nervous. And I'm afraid to talk to her. I'm afraid to talk to her. So she comes on, I don't. Well, for one thing, I don't know if she's recording or, you know. But she never says hi, so I feel like I'm not welcome to participate in a conversation with her. So, Bob. Oh. Maybe you're just as doofus with no social skills. I don't know. I don't think so. You know how to talk, right, and stuff. Maybe just say what you think will please people. 
That's not good enough for me. I need you to say what's true. And I guess what's true is Michelle hollers and you run. With her husband and her kids and her her channel is doing pretty well and her shout outs from um, pretty substantial people in the game and how what it is I don't know I mean I can tell when you play with her and make videos and stuff you really like her um you get along with her real good I thought you did me too but I, I don't know what's real so I know I'm in a hell of a lot of pain and so is my cat and I'm alone and I needed to hear my own voice. There's not even anybody I can talk to. You're a nice guy. But I don't think it's an unreasonable demand that, you know, like, I'm playing second fiddle to a married woman. You know, it's just creepy. It's just, there's something about that that's not clean. There's something about that that's not right. There's something about that that's just not right. And drop me like a hot potato and go running when she called. You have two, sometimes three days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I guess this week you got money because apparently where you live, they got a day off too on Monday. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to sit around and wait for you, kid. I'm not going to sit around. Now, when you left and logged out, you left me in the nether alone. Without what I need and not, you know, with my memory and my eyesight and stuff. So, I uh, went back to your house. And then I bumbled around in that labyrinth you live in and I finally found the mules but you know it's a long way back and it's hazardous and I was just too tired so my mules are in your pen and I logged out and I took your server off my multi-server menu Because I've had my heart broken so much with this stinking game, and I don't understand the new unetiquette. I don't understand why people just stomp all over other people and act like that's normal. And I don't get it. I just, I really, I sincerely don't get it. No, I'm not ungrateful for what you've done. Don't go there. I'm not that kind of person. I really thought you and I were friends. But you don't run like that. You know your times is a premium and I don't get to do much with you. You know that. And you know it's hard for me to trust, right? You get that, right? And I trusted you. And that's not something you can get off the rack at Walmart, son. I'm a long time between trusting people. And I picked you. Oh, no, no. She's just a shy person. She's just, she's just, um, she stays to herself. She's very private. It's nothing to you. And I tried to explain to her. So you remember those zombies? You didn't believe that the zombies were attacking the golems and attacking the passive mobs? You remember you didn't believe me? And then you saw it? Well, today you saw it. All caps. Bob. And then all caps, something else. And when I pointed it out to you and I used the metaphor of the zombies, I don't know what you're talking about. I gotta go. All right. 
You got to go. Bye, Bob. <gasps>